in this section of the Solid Plant 2014 demo, I'll be showing you how to replace some structural members, I-beams and such, on the 3D grid sketch that we previously created. As you can see, I have our support aerator structure open and our 3D grid visible. I select that, and then on our structural toolbar, I select the Insert Structure Member function. This is the very familiar SolidWorks Weldment structural member. Here we will select the standard. We will select the JIS standard, the Japanese Industrial Standard. We will then select an H section beam. And for size, we will go with 100 by 100 by 17. Then in our graphic area, I will select all four of the vertical corner segments. Very quickly, we can select those. SolidWorks places those in a group. We say OK. And there you can see our beams very quickly placed. Uh, we have another function in Solid Plant to place the structural members. It's called Draw Structure Member. This is a slightly different workflow. It allows you to create your sketch. In this case, we're simply going to sketch right over our 3D grid sketch, but that's not required. And our fourth segment. And then we exit our sketch. Once we exit our sketch, we have a unique structure database interface that appears and allows us to uh, select our standard. Once again, we'll select the JIS standard. We will select another H section. And this time we will go with a 150 by 100 beam. And then we say OK. Here you can see these steel structures placed along the lines we just sketched. And this will complete our new structural element.